My name is David St. John. Uh, I am a Government Relations Administrator for the King County Department of Natural Resources and Parks. I'm Brad Thompson, Fisheries Division Manager for the Washington Fish and Wildlife Office of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in Lacey, Washington. So today we released 75 fry from our emergency supplementation program. And over this, the course of the next two weeks, we're going to release, I think it's 14,500 fry total. Uh, in this creek and then two other creeks around Lake Sammamish. This is Laughing Jacobs Creek and we're going to release these fry in Ewright Creek and Lewis Creek as well. The Kokanee Fry Release event is to essentially for all the partners to get together to celebrate the success of the emergency supplementation program. So we've taken the Kokanee eggs from the returning spawners um, last fall, uh, early winter, and we put them in the hatchery setting and and we've incubated them, and they've emerged as fry, we fed them a little bit, and now, you know, we, we want to celebrate that we were successful at doing that, and we hope to be successful for years to come. This fry release is a, is a critical part of our kokanee recovery and restoration efforts. Um, as, as a work group, the kokanee work group has set out a, a few really important uh, priorities and goals for ourselves. Our first is to prevent the extinction of this population and this population is now, uh, our last run was probably 100 fish. Uh, so we're at very low numbers, extremely low numbers. And this supplementation program that these fish come from is critical to having a population to recover. If we don't have this program running uh, for the foreseeable future, uh, this population is in serious danger of going extinct. Some of the ways that our agency has assisted the partners is providing technical assistance and designing this project. For over a year now, we've been working with the partners to come up with different strategies for how long to rear the fish, where to rear them, different temperatures, and how to mark them in a way in the future where we can detect them and determine whether or not the supplementation program itself was successful in attaining its goal. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is a very important partner in our work. Uh, we're very happy to have them engaged uh, to the degree that they are. Uh, they've been a fundamental partner in several different ways. One is uh, their staff. Uh, participate in the day-to-day -day work of the work group and in planning out our work and being strategic in how we um, interact with the population. Uh, great technical resource that we really value. Uh, the service also funds a lot of our work, the supplementation program and some of our science work as well, and we couldn't, we couldn't do this without that kind of support. Finally, today's event was just fantastic. Uh, great opportunity to see all those who were involved, who were energized, and ready to do what it takes to keep Lake Sammamish Kokanee here for future generations.